Kings use every tool at their disposal to better themselves. And today, they are using ChatGPT to become ultra learners. My name is Logan, and on this channel, I help you understand that you are in fact a king. And as such, it is time to think like a king. In so doing, you will live like a king. So I'm a software engineer at Microsoft, working in high performance compute and AI. And so I've gotten a nice upfront look at ChatGPT. If you don't know by now, ChatGPT is a large language model developed by OpenAI based on GPT, generative pre-trained transformer architecture. Okay, so I'm just reading the ChatGPT generated response to what is ChatGPT. Basically, it's an AI that you can ask it stuff and it chats you back with pretty well-informed answers. It's actually really cool what it can do and it's pretty much been taking the world by storm. But it has come to my attention that many of you are not utilizing this extremely powerful tool. And this pains me to hear. But if you clicked on this video, then it's actually very good news for you because you have the opportunity to use ChatGPT to learn anything absolutely insanely fast and soar past your peers. So let's dive into exactly how you should be doing this with the five best kept secrets to hacking ChatGPT. So we'll lay the foundation with the first four points, but make sure you stick around for the fifth and final point because that is where the value of this AI just gets ridiculous. All right, secret number one, come up with something that you want to learn. Literally ask ChatGPT, how do I learn this thing? And in fact, you should take it a step further and go very meta with this. Ask ChatGPT, how do I use ChatGPT in order to learn this thing? This will cue your mind on what to even ask ChatGPT in the first place. So for example, right now I'm learning how to create business offers. And I literally just asked ChatGPT, tell me how to use you, ChatGPT, to learn how to create the best business offers. And the AI literally gave me specific questions that I can ask to get started. What are the key elements of business offers? How do you create a business offer that stands out from competitors? And the list went on. The cool thing is that now you have a framework with this list of questions and you can dive deeper into the specific questions that it gave you to ask. And look, if you don't like the options it gave, just ask ChatGPT, not in like those, give me a brand new list of questions that I can ask you in order to learn this thing. AI gets to work for you. Okay, the second secret to using ChatGPT to become an ultra learner, be ultra specific. The language model loves specificity. The more you go into detail on exactly what you're looking for, the better responses you're going to get. And this point can be very well utilized in conjunction with the first point. Often when we're trying to learn something new, we don't even really know what questions to ask or how to be specific. So just take the list that ChatGPT generated in the first step and ask it to generate a list of specific questions based on each topic that it spit out. As you read the questions, you can get a better idea of where you would like to start and go from there. And as you ask these specific questions and you begin to learn more, you can build upon this in future learning sessions. So importantly, you should have something up to help you take notes, whether it's Google Doc or Notion, etc. And the next time that you get in there to learn with ChatGPT, you can give ChatGPT the specific context that you were using before so it knows where to pick up. You can just tell it, hey, the last time you were telling me novel ways to stand out from my competitors. And here's the list you gave me. Let's dive deeper into bullet number three. And in this way, ChatGPT has the context. You have specific questions that literally gave you and you will get far better responses. As a side note, you can also just probably use the same chat thread that you were using before and ChatGPT should already have the context in that way as well. Okay, so the third secret to using ChatGPT for ultra learning is to ask it for the best books on your topic. Books still remain one of the best ways to learn new skills, but there are so many books out there on every single topic. So you can just use ChatGPT to generate a list of some of the best ones to check out on that topic. And make sure you use secret number two as well. Be specific about the types of books you like, the authors you like, the style of writing you enjoy. And the AI can use these recommendations to give you books in similar style from authors you love. And one of the massive benefits of this is that you can ask it for summaries of the key points of these books. And ChatGPT does a really great job of giving you an executive summary of what the book talks about. And then you can of course ask it to go into more detail on any of the topics that seem interesting. So I actually tried this for Deep Work by Cal Newport, which is a book that I've already read in great detail to see how good ChatGPT would be at generating the responses for me. A few questions later and I literally felt like I had read the entire book again. So definitely use this for new books that you haven't even read. Start by asking it a summary of the key 
key points and then get more details on the points by literally saying go into more detail on point number three and copy pasting it in there. And in a matter of minutes, you can be extremely close to the knowledge level of somebody who took the time to read the book in its entirety, if not. All right, the fourth secret for using ChatGPT on your ultra learning journey is to ask for research papers or studies on your time. So you should always be searching for evidence-based solutions to your problems. And one of the best ways to do this is through peer reviewed research papers. Problem with that though, is that it's a pretty tough skill to even learn how to read these papers, synthesize the information and make it useful for yourself. Even once you learn that skill, it still takes time to actually use that skill and properly consume entire research papers. The good news is you no longer have to. Simply ask ChatGPT to scour the peer reviewed journals and pull the best stuff on your topic. Once it finds the articles, ask it to synthesize the information and then use step two, go into more detail specifically on these topics. Ask ChatGPT how the study was conducted, what the results were, importantly, what does that mean for you specifically as somebody trying to learn this skill? And within like five, 10 minutes, again, just like the point about the books, you'll probably be more knowledgeable than somebody who sat down and read the entire paper because you just cut to the depth of the research, got the conclusions and made them important to your life and you weren't bogged down with the ancillary details. Okay, so it's time for the fifth and honestly the most important secret to using ChatGPT effectively to become an ultra learner. Take the best information you've learned so far, books, papers, summaries, and ask ChatGPT, generate a list of actionable steps that I can start doing today based on said information. This point is extremely powerful and it will have the highest impact to actually moving you forward into learning the new skill. So many of us get caught in the information gathering mode and we never take any real steps towards learning the new skill. ChatGPT eliminates this issue. Now I do believe in consuming the best information that you can on a topic you're trying to learn and that is exactly what we did with the first four secrets but that will do us zero good if we don't actually make use of the information. But the good news is that ChatGPT tells you exactly how to use that information by generating a personalized plan for you to follow. You can even feed it your specific timeline and tell it how fast you want to learn the skill and it will generate the schedule based on that. So I tried this telling it that I wanted to get really good at deep work based on the book Deep Work by Cal Newport just so I could see what it spit out. It literally detailed me a three month plan in order to build up to four deep work hours a day, which is what Cal Newport suggests is kind of the peak limit. And from there, I was able to say, okay, give me a day by day plan for all of these three months. And it spit that out too. It was just insane. And so now you have have all this information that you've gathered and you're able to put it into a very specific plan that has steps with a timeline for how fast you want to learn the skill and you can actually start making progress right now. So please, 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 if you got nothing else from the video, at least use this step on your ChatGPT journeys. Ask it to create you full, detailed, specific, actionable plans with a schedule and a timeline for you to learn your new skills. All right, King, well, I really hope that these concepts will help you on your self-improvement in ultra learning journey. Be like the king and utilize all of the tools at your disposal to aid in your growth. And please share your best chat GPT tips in the comments as well. I'm sure that I and all of our other kings in here will greatly benefit from that. And if you got anything from the video, drop it a like, subscribe to the channel. We'd love to have you in the family. And now it's time for me to serve as your reminder. Always put the work in and from there, leave it in the hands of the one true king. Stay king.